approximation and errors. In this question, mathematical tables should not be used. The base and perpendicular height of a triangle measured to the nearest centimeter are 6 cm and 4 cm respectively. Find A. The absolute error in calculating the area of the triangle. B. The percentage error in the area giving your answer to one decimal place. So that is a question. Uh, I want us to go to the solution and start with the first part that is the finding the absolute error in calculating the area of this triangle. Now the measurements of this triangle are uh, the base is six centimeters. So base is uh, six centimeters and the height is uh, four centimeters. So the first thing would be to get the limits of these measurements. Now the limits of these measurements, you can see both of them, the least unit of measurement is one. And therefore, to get the limits, we shall have like this one for six will be plus or minus 0 0.5. And this one will be four plus or minus 0 0.5. Now the reason why uh, it is uh, 0 0.5. The least unit of measurement is 1. So the absolute error will be a half of the least unit of measurement, which is a half times 1. So absolute error in each of the measurements will therefore be 0 0.5. That is why for both of them, we have to add and subtract uh, 0 0.5. Now this means that the upper limit of 6, that is the base, will be 6.5. And the smallest would be 5.5 .5. then for the height the upper limit will be 4.5 and the lowest will be 3.5 so those are the limits uh, within which those measurements lie now let's go to the first part now getting the absolute error in calculating the area of the triangle how do you get the absolute error uh, absolute error in calculating the area of this triangle will be given by a half of uh, into brackets multiplied by the maximum area minus the minimum area that is how we obtain uh, the absolute error in calculating the, of the triangle so we proceed and we start by getting the maximum area maximum area maximum area will be obtained by using the upper limits of the base and upper limits for the height so the area of the triangle is half times the base which is a 6.5 and then um, the height the upper limit for the height is 4.5 and uh, when you multiply these, you get a half multiplied by 6.5 times 4.5, you get 14.625, 14.625. Minimum, minimum area will be a half multiplied by, minimum area will be given by a half multiply by now for the minimum area we're going to use the lowest limits in each of these measurements which is a half uh, times the lowest uh, measurement for the base is 5.5 and then the lowest for the height is 3.5 so working out this half multiplied by 5.5 times 3.5 you get uh, 9.625 9.625 so that is the maximum area. We get it by using the upper limits of the measurements for the base and height. Then the minimum area, we get it uh, by using the lowest limits for both the base and height. Now let's now proceed and get um, the absolute error. Absolute error therefore will be given by half into brackets. Uh, the maximum area which is 14.625 14.625 minus uh, 
the minimum so the maximum area is 14.625 the minimum is 9.625 9 9.6 so this will give um, a half multiplied by we work out this 14.6 this, this will be 5 and therefore the absolute error will be a half of 5 which is 2.5 let's go to the second part which is the last one the percentage error in the area giving your answer to correct to one decimal place the percentage error so how do you get the percentage error in the area we get it by getting the absolute error which you've already obtained and then uh, divided by the actual area then we multiply by 100 percent so what we don't have here we have already the absolute error it is here the absolute error is there so we need to get the actual the working it's called the actual the working area and this one you obtain it by using the original measurements the original measurements for the base and the height is six and four so that is what you're going to use to get the actual area. so half times six times four this will give um, 12 so the actual area is 12 so therefore the percentage error is given by absolute error which we got which is 2.5 divided by the actual uh, area which is tough then we multiply by 100 let's use these so 2.5 uh, divided by 12 times and this gives a uh, 20.83 so 20.83 so correct one decimal place you get uh, 20 point eight percent and that is how you're supposed to solve that question.